What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So listen guys, I just wanted to say that I'm really happy to be back. Was supposed to be posting a video yesterday, but unfortunately my wife wasn't feeling too well. Now I think I passed the bug on to her and it is what it is. Um, but she's getting better and that's the main thing. What a day yesterday. What a day yesterday. I feel like the trading gods wanted me to go through some sort of psychological emotional roller coaster yesterday just to remind me of where I've come from and to remain humble I mean I think I am quite humble but I, yeah I mean I get excited when I win trades but yesterday I sat in a pound USD trade for 10 hours 10 hours <sighs> and you know the funniest thing it wasn't even the fact that I was sitting in that trade for 10 hours it was more so the fact that on the live session that I did yesterday in the morning no it wasn't a live session but it was a live session um, I was going and I was planning to take pound USD buys the minute price broke out 8 a.m. for London Open I was planning to take buys and because I was rabbiting on as I usually do I missed the trade now I always say you don't miss a trade but I never took it then when I finished the session three hours later I jumped into another trade and the whipsaw destroyed me it was horrible I was emotional anyway end up losing that trade and then I jumped into the pound USD and I just think it was a reminder just to say sometimes just sometimes this is how trading is not every trade you're gonna jump into and you're gonna just hit take profit straight away so the trading God said rocks you will sit in this trade for 10 hours I promise you not for 10 hours I did not come into my office for 10 hours I did not come into my office I literally sat in my front room with my son until I heard the bells go ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling. literally but it was a humbling moment <laughs> I had a lot of time to myself and a lot of time to think about things now there's just two things I want to address here before we get started and I don't know what we're going to talk about but we're going to go over the trade that I took. I'm going to just share a concept with you that you can start doing in the morning pre-market open um, just to make sure you get a, a clear or a clarif or a um, um, an identifier mark or a directional bias or a consensus of what pairs are stronger than what and how you can take advantage of trading the London Open. Now. Two things we need to just address. Here I have a sock on my microphone because yesterday my son ran into the room, took the microphone, he was using it as a hat and now I can't find it. So I've had to use a sock. I don't know why, but apparently if you don't have the sock, you can hear it doing that sort of thing. And the second thing is I'm sitting really low today because I didn't iron my trousers. So I'm wearing my shorts with my shirt, okay? That's why. Right. Let's just address those two things. But on in, in all seriousness, let's get over to the charts. Roll the intro. All right, family. So, pound USD. This is a trade I took today. This was taken on the live call this morning. Well, it wasn't taken on the live call. It was called out on the live call this morning. So normally we do the morning. Uh, analysis and setups. Huh? Oh, I want to go over to this one here. We do the morning analysis and setups, and uh, normally I will call out a directional bias on mainly pound USD um, in which direction I plan to take the trade most days. And uh, today I was planning to take sells. Now let's go over to the 4H time frame and show you an analysis on this. So I was looking at the structure on this market. You can clearly see here we have everything drawn in. We have a lower, low, lower high formation here on the structure. And um, my short term plan for London Open was to take sells. Now, the reason for that is because of the lower, low, lower high formation, 
the previous momentum on this market structure was down and I only wanted to take sales. Now, looking at the structure of this market, I was wanting to see price come back down to some of these lows. Now, it doesn't need to. I'm only taking a trade with about three to five pips stop loss, so I only need a one to three risk reward ratio, meaning three, six, nine, nine pips or maximum 15 pips per trade. That's it. It's just in and out, Bob's your uncle, and that's it. In and out. No messing about. I haven't got time for this, okay? Just want to get in my trades and out my trades. That's why yesterday I probably found it difficult to deal with the 10 hour wait in that trade. It was tough, but it is what it is. But anyway, that's that. So that was my decision making. Now, when London opened, I started scaling down, looking for potential trades, saying to myself, I'm looking for potential break retest. I'm looking for the markets to show me some sort of break close below structure. I'm looking for the market to retest structure. And as I'm scaling down, I can't see anything. The only thing that I can see here from a 15 minute perspective, and this is where it started from, was the fact that price had created a double top formation structure here in the market. Now it's a consolidation. So when there's a consolidation, I'll sell from the top more often than not and buy from the bottom more often than not. I was just about to say all the time, but I don't trade ranges all the time and I don't want you to get into trading ranges either because it's not the best plan. You're better off waiting for clear trends, but I identified this. Now, someone in the community had taken a sell from this structural high and I only recognized it after I saw their trade. Um, and I was asking myself, would I have sold there? And to be honest with you, I personally wouldn't have. It doesn't mean it was a bad trade. It just means I would have wanted to see price. No, nothing. I just want, I just don't really like ranges, right? So I didn't sell it. But then I saw the momentum of this previous candle. I saw just before London Open, um, just before London Open, there was a spike. This spike here, yes. So what happened is price reacted, started to break these highs and failed. In the back of my mind, I was just looking for a bearish close. I'm sorry guys, I don't know why this keeps happening. Okay, so I was just looking for a bearish close and all I was thinking, all I was thinking was strong bearish momentum. What will the next candle be? And I said, bearish, has to be, has to be. It's London Open. We had an attempt to break out. We failed. Strong momentum down. Look at this. Look at this. Where is this? Look at this. If you had one chance, one chance, okay, and somebody said to you, after this strong bearish momentum candle, this reaction at the top of this range, if you had one chance, what directional bias do you think the next candle would be? Or one guess, not chance. What am I saying? One guess. What would you say? Well, at this moment in time, I did say bearish. So as I scaled down to the lower time frames, I was just saying to myself, all I want to see the market do is finally break close below this consolidation. Once this market breaks close below this consolidation, then that's when I'm going in for the trade. And as you can clearly see, I mean, I was in this trade for next to nothing. It just literally was a hot minute. And the reason for that is because all I was anticipating, this was the previous momentum candle down. I just wanted to see the next momentum candle down. Waited for that breakout. Got the breakout. Went in with an instant execution. Placed my stop loss above the actual consolidation itself, the structural low. And then as you can see, Bob was your uncle in this one. It was gorgeous. Now we did make another call this morning on all 10 pairs actually, but we did mention on, yes, here we go, uh, pound JPY that we were looking for the market to break. So this is how it was. We're looking for the market to break the structural lows in line with the overall directional bias of this market. So at this time we were seeing the market as being bullish, brick will break, lower high formation, seeing price failing, looking for the break below. Said this was an aggressive London open sell. But if it happens, you can look for the opportunity. I'm not going to tell you how to take the trade. That's all part and parcels of your strategy. But my my plan was to take the sell back down to these lows. As you can see, the next candle absolutely obliterated that. Smashed down to the structural lows, pushing 22 odd pips. If you scale down to your lower time frames looking for a trade, you can uh, just again 
wait for price to break those structures with strong momentum looking for that momentum to shift the next candle to be bearish in line with the previous momentum and then as you can see here if you're taking that trade with let's say an instant execution stop loss above the structure where would you have been at would you have hit it would you have hit it oh thank god for that you would have hit it okay so that would have been another trade in the back one to three risk reward ratio donuts no one cares if it's 15 10 12 5 4 3 2 1 pips okay one to three risk reward ratio simple as you risk one two percent here zero percent here zero point three three percent here you get the returns no one's going for those big trades anymore it's 2020 who's got time for it no one now i'm not saying that you're going to make money faster because it's all a numbers game but look at october man who has really been trading the high time frame successfully and if they have then well done to them but i just mean the markets have been up and down personally for me I just want to get in and out done job done if i can be finished my trading by let's say nine ten o'clock i'm good to go i have the rest of the day and this is what i've worked so hard for for seven years to own my time so that's why i trade like this so that's that so i just want to share with you i was really happy today one of my students actually hit their first one to ten trade today so really 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 proud of that let me just find that for you so the trade was oh he didn't actually post it oh hmm that's a shame but he did mention where is it gone where's it gone hmm anyway he hit his first one to ten which i'm i'm very happy for i think he mentioned he was going to sleep and he was going to let it run and then see what happens it is around here somewhere uh, oh man i don't know where it is okay it's somewhere here anyway so that what that made me very happy today um that he actually did hit that trade so well done to my brother john well done just shout him out well done for that trade look wake up you just hit a one to ten and then what did he say I know I'm here. He oh no, he closed the trade at 9.87R. How about that? But then another member in the community, look at this. I'm just so proud of so proud, man. And and you know what? I just I just provide some guidance, some principles and guidelines, and it's down to then the traders to follow it and obviously heed what I'm saying and apply it and be disciplined and patient. But look at this trader, man. I mean and this is euro usd and i'll talk about this in a second but we identified from today because of yesterday the strength of the euro and i'm not saying that i gave him in this analysis he he presses the button right he's the one that executes but look at this trade beautiful break and retest beautiful break and retest beautiful break and retest and look at the results here look at the results here look what he says total 21.08% he said, I got emotional, closed my trades, closed my trades before and it took me money. The aim was to apply trade and stop loss, but I'm happy with me percent today. You see, so it doesn't matter, you know, he finished strong, super strong. 21.08%. He took a Bobby trade. I love that. I'm claiming it. I'm going to ask permission, actually, a Bobby trade, but we call it a breakout break back in. He took a Bobby trade here, beautiful break and retest and look. And this is what I mean, like the sky's the limit. All the hard work and everything that you're putting in in the beginning, you know, it's not in vain. If you keep persisting, you keep executing, 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 eventually this is what's going to come to you. You're going to have these bangers. To hold these trades, I mean, it's not easy. To, I'm telling you now. Imagine, you know, you're sitting here about a one to five in and around these levels. You see price putting back. Things get tough, man but he held it and he done very well and i just got a rating for that i want to big him up as well very well done but yeah so that's that really i just wanted to share that with you so just lastly on those euro trades this morning for the market open analysis we looked at euro we identified the strength of euro yesterday okay simple we identified the strength of euro yesterday so our plans today were to see the euro continue to push up we identified structures you can see here the morning analysis was the minute price breaks above this look for your trades Boof, look at price action. 
smashed to the upside 30 plus pips there great trading opportunities again euro we saw yesterday strong momentum we said yet today look for price to break above structure look price breaking above structure again another 30 odd pips bush bob's your uncle and uh one of the top daddies in this group well i just called him a daddy i mean don daddy in this group was a <laughs> it's just meant to say the top one of the top don daddies um right here look how he destroyed this market look euro yen bam 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 absolutely gorgeous that's that's all i can say gorgeous look euro yen another one bang what are we doing now another one euro yen bang what are we doing again euro yen bang wait they said i hate something oh maybe they didn't get an entry oh that's a shame sorry about that one here you go euro usd bam bam mm. anyway so look the sky's the sky's the limit family the sky's the limit just identify you know in the morning when you come in to do your analysis check how has euro been doing yesterday wow it's been pushing up strong let me check the euro over here wow it's been pushing up strong let me check the euro over here euro must be going up wow look at that down okay don't worry about that it's just one of all of them up boom see that then once you identify this what do you do this is the oh this is 4h anyway you get the point right once you identify the strength or the directional bias or the strength yeah of the the pairs i euro um dollar pound mainly euro dollar pound is all you want to focus on then what you do you just get in there drop your key levels in and wait for the market to create those breaks and then those patterns on the lower time frames it's simple it just requires patience it really just requires patience but i want to thank you for your patience sorry they didn't post yesterday again i will be posting an educational video tomorrow just want to give you an update and um i'm starting back the gym again so be working on those guns baby <laughs> um winter's coming so i'm gonna hibernate um put my hoodie on get in the gym start losing some weight i think with the coronavirus you, you know you kind of uh use it as an excuse to have some food and drink right but now it's over it's time to get serious health is wealth wealth is health whatever the saying Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, turn on notifications, and until next time, family, trust the process.